from 1 through 10 kilometers and from 1 through 10 miles over this table smooth 12 mile ribbon of salt. Other men are busy with preparations of an official nature on this fateful day. The crack timing crew of the U.S. Auto Club are making last checks on their electronic timers as Andy signals he's ready to start writing new pages in the record books. There's the green flag. That's green for go. And the muted scream of the little 299 cubic inch engine bounces back from the sheer rock walls of the surrounding house. Timers call the speeds over two-way radios, and the car is rolling well past the 150 mile per hour mark. Andy pulls out every stop. This car, smaller than record holders it will outrun, is clicking through the timing traps at sensational speeds, which are checked and rechecked by this crew, which has backstopped Granatelli over every foot he drives out on that blazing white salt speedway. The records tumble one by one as Andy pours on the coal. He hits the big one, 168.24 miles per hour over the measured kilometer from a flying start. This is almost 15 miles an hour faster than the old record set here just a few days ago by the former American stock car record holder. The Avanti is actually running in class C because of engine size. But so fast is Granatelli's pace that he bags the unlimited stock car records as well. The mile flies by at 168.15 miles an hour, and the big ones that the crew has eagerly awaited are in the bag. The 10-mile records, both flying and standing, fall to Andy and his crewmen. And so the job is done. After 12 long hours of driving, checking and driving again, day and night, at dusk and at dawn, Avanti now holds 29 new records, nine of them national class records, 10 of them American stock unlimited class records, and 10 of them American class C stock car records. There is no hilarious celebration as the salt-crusted car pulls into the pits. For this task of vehicle testing is workaday stuff for Andy and his pit crew. The accomplishment is great, and Andy Granatelli, the man behind the wheel of the nation's fastest production car, is quietly happy today on the vast salt flat of Bonneville, Utah.